Today, this 4Runner gets a roof rack. Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe. Today I've got something new for you guys. I'm actually working on my buddy's 2019 TRD Off-Road 4Runner and I actually went ahead and installed a roof rack on it along with a light bar. Now he decided to go with the Pro Built slash Cali Raised roof rack along with a Cali Raised light bar up front. Essentially, this is the premium version without the light cutouts on the side. Now, the difference on the premium roof racks compared to the economy from Cali Ray slash Pro Build is the fact that it does have this little panel up front. It's essentially a light cover, so you can essentially raise it up to completely cover up your light bar or just put it down to expose it. Now, a lot of states here in the U.S., you're actually not even allowed to have non-DOT approved lights on your vehicle. If they're exposed, you can get a ticket unless you're off-road. So this is a really good solution for those states. Also, another benefit when you raise this cover up, it's, it also serves as a wind diffuser as well. Now, overall, the quality on this is amazing. The installation took me about two and a half, three hours with, you know, from start to finish. Now, you guys let me know what you guys think about this 4Runner content. If you want me to do more videos with my buddy's 4Runner and also some other vehicles, I will have some more videos coming on the Tacoma soon. We got some parts coming in, just waiting for those to get here. Now, without talking too much, let's get into the install. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is assemble the front balance assembly. Essentially for that, you'll need your little brackets, light cover, the little support beam, and then the balance itself. Also, we'll need a little weather stripping. And, and also the hardware kit. Now this is the hardware kit you, we're using for the front balance. It's got these two little spacers, your two 3 8 bolts, and then these little washer slash bolts. So make sure you grab that. Let's get on with it. Okay. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and attach the little light cover to these brackets. Um, essentially with these brackets, they're going to sit like so. If you guys can see that. Essentially, these little lips right here will point towards the inside. Um, it's gonna sit like this guy right here. And then with this little slanted bracket, it's gonna point towards the front. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab these little silver spacers, slide them through right here. And then we're going to slide this guy in through the slotted opening like that. And we'll do that on both sides. Okay, next up, we're going to take this 3 8 bolt and attach it between the bracket and the little light cover. To do that, we'll take the silver washer first, run it through. The bronze washers, one will go in between and on the inside. So let's try to attempt this real quick. Okay, there we go. And on your washer and your nut. There we go. And for the time being, I'm just going to finger tighten these now. Let's repeat the process on the other side as well. Alrighty, so now that we have these guys finger tight, next up we'll take our little valence support and put it in place. Essentially, this will only go on one way with these little tabs pointing downwards. Just place it in place here. We'll grab our valence. Essentially, your flat spot goes up here, curved on the bottom like that. So here you have to use a little bit of finesse. You essentially have to line up your, your valence to your support into the brackets. And then we're going to use these black bolts to tighten all these guys down all the way across. Essentially, all you need is a washer and a bolt. And these are threaded, so just go straight through. You will not need a nut on these. So let's do that real quick here and then the rest of the valence. Now that I have my two edges finger type, we'll go through and just do the rest of these on the inside. Again, I'm just gonna finger tighten these. Next up, we'll do the ones on the top. Again, take your little bolt washer, slide it through. On this one, we will use another 
washer on the bottom along with this little lock nut. And once again, just finger tight for now. And go ahead and repeat this on the other side as well. Okay, next up, we'll just go through and tighten the balance down. I'm gonna start in the middle and then just work our way out. All right, next up, let's flip this guy around. Okay, next up, we're going to go through and tighten these bolts right here. One thing to keep in mind, just tighten these up nice and snug. Do not over tighten them. Otherwise, you won't be able to move your little um, light cover up and down, but we still want it to be pretty tight, you know, to keep it secure. So let's do that real quick. All right, so now that we have everything tightened down, all the bolts, finally for the front balance, we're going to attach this little rubber um, trim piece. Essentially, one thing to keep in mind with this trim piece is, as you guys can see here, there's this little like actual rubber piece, the little oval. You want this facing towards the bottom of the balance, so this will be touching your truck. So essentially flip it this way. And we'll just start on the edge right here. Now that we're at the edge, nicely flush, we're just gonna cut off the axis. And then finally, we'll take this little twisty knob right here and we're gonna attach it to the little bolt right here. This is the first one on the actual light cover that we put in. So we're just gonna throw this guy on here. And then this way we can actually lock this puppy in place. And it won't go anywhere. So next up, let's start working on the rear balance. Next up, we're going to work on the rear diffuser. All you're gonna need here is the actual diffuser, one of these crossbars, these two brackets, along with the hardware kit. Now the hardware kit we're using here is the one that has the two L brackets in them. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to put these T-nuts into the slots right here. So what we need to do here is we need to place two right here, two right here, and then four on the bottom. With these T-nuts, um, they do have a flat bottom along with a taper bottom. Essentially your flat bottom will go towards the top like so. And essentially, if you have to force these things in, you're doing it wrong. They can only go in one way. So do that. And then just so you guys can see up close, we've got two and two, and then four on the vertical side right here. Next step is to attach the actual diffuser itself. So vertically, we have the T-nuts in this row and in this row. So what we'll do is we'll take the diffuser, we're going to flip it to where, once we put this down flat, this little lip right here points up and towards us in the back. I'm going to use a little pick and just move these T-nuts in place. Once we have the T-nuts in place, we'll grab these provided bolts right here, washers, and then I'm just gonna go through and finger tighten these guys on with the diffuser. All right, perfect, so we got these guys nicely finger tight, and again, diffusers flat here. This is pointing up towards us, and the rest of our T-nuts are here facing towards us. Alrighty, now we got the balance attached to the crossbar. Let's go ahead and flip this bad boy over like so. Next up, we're going to be attaching these little brackets right here. Essentially, the way these brackets go, um, you want this to be in the same orientation, this little flap as this. So it'll go down like so. And then you're gonna grab on these, um, I believe a quarter inch bolts, washer, and we're gonna thread this through from the top. down and again we're just going to do this finger tight for now there we go and let's go and repeat the process on the other side too perfect now that we have our l brackets finger tight next up we're going to be installing these little rear brackets essentially the way these rear brackets will work is they're going to sit like so so essentially with this the flat part point towards the inside these guys on the outside these brackets are just like mirror images so they'll only go on one way Essentially what you'll do is you'll take your T-nuts, move them about roughly two inches from the end right here. I'm gonna throw this on. And then grab your little bolt washer and we're just gonna finger tighten these puppies on. Again, we'll just do these finger tights so we can kind of move these in and out. Um, repeat this process on the other side and then we're all done with this rear valence piece. 
and we're ready to start assembling our actual rack. So let's do that real quick. All right, so next up comes the fun part. We're essentially going to start attaching our crossbars to the little side rails. Um, this is very simple. Essentially with your side rails, the way they're gonna sit, the flat part is gonna be towards the top and then it's gonna curve on down. Essentially, you'll also notice that there's these little um, silver um, threads. Those guys go, go towards the inside. And then for this, you'll need to use the hardware kit right here. It's essentially just bolts and washers for the sides. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna start in the center by attaching our crossbar, and then we'll just move on out. One thing to keep in mind, as we're essentially bolting, bolting these guys down, tying down, this is aluminum, so let's not force it too much because we don't wanna essentially cross thread this. One, two, three, four, five. So we're essentially gonna stop, start right here. And then again, all we're gonna do here is just go finger tight on these bad boys. And again, washer, your bolt, go through and into the crossbar. Okay, I've gone ahead and th threw in four of these crossbars. Before we go on, next up, we're gonna go through and attach this rear valence, which we assembled earlier. Essentially with this guy, we're also just gonna take two bolts on each side and drive this into the crossbar itself. After that, we'll go through and use the provided hardware and just attach it to this little L bracket. So let's get that done real quick. Just like the crossbars, take your little bolt, washer, throw these bad boys in. Again, we're doing everything hand tight. Now, one thing I'm gonna mention is that I actually um, initially tightened this valence down. So make sure you loosen this so that way you've got some play in here um, just to get everything flush. Once we get these two bolts in here, we're gonna go through and tighten this down and then we'll throw the bolt from the rear balance kit through here. So let's do that real quick. Finger tight. Go, go ahead and do the other side as well. All right, so now that we have these two bad boys in, um, we're gonna get, grab this little bolt, washer, and we're gonna drive it through here. And if you guys recall, there's the L bracket in right here. It's kind of hard for me to show this on camera just because there's not much room, but essentially you're gonna drive this through the L bracket on the rear balance, like so. Do a washer and then your little lock nut in the back. And again, we're just gonna finger tighten this for now. Okay, next up, now that we have these guys in, we're gonna go through and just tighten down our rear valence. All right, so now that I have four of these crossbars in, essentially the ones I've got in currently are, so we have position one, two, we have three, four, five, and six in. What we need to do is we need to actually prepare the rack to be able to install these mid-mount brackets. Um, the way these are gonna sit, um, essentially they're gonna sit like so, and we're gonna use Tina's to attach them to the crossbars. So what you wanna do now is, like I know we just put these in, but we're going to take out number three and number four, and we're going to insert these little T-nuts like we did for the rear valence. Essentially, keep in mind, so number three, which is the front one, the T-nut goes into the back slot, and then on number four, it goes into the front slot. So let's do that real quick. And then you'll want to put two of them in, one for each side. And remember, on the T-nuts, the flat spot goes towards the top, tapered towards the bottom. Again, if it is not going in nicely, you're putting it in wrong. And then we'll go through here and reattach these guys. Again, we're doing everything finger tight for now. And we'll, we'll repeat the same process on number four on the front. So, and the way you're counting this is just going to be again from the front, one, two, three, and four. All right, so now that we have the Tina sent on number three and four, we'll go through and put the rest of the crossbars in. So we still have two more in the back and two in the front. So I'll go through do, and do that real quick. And then we'll start working on the front balance. All right, so now we have all the crossbars in. One thing about this particular rack, this is the premium, which means that we, we will also be installing a light bar. So it comes with these little light bar brackets. Essentially with these brackets, they need to attach to the first um, crossbar. So essentially the way this will attach will be from the bottom and the front. 
what that means is that what we need to do is again loosen number one we're gonna have to put two t-nuts in the front right here and then one in the bottom back sorry two in the bottom back as well so let's do that real quick and again remember the flat part goes towards the front taper towards the back so two in there two in there again just finger tight so now that we have all the crossbars in place, next up we're going to attach the front balance to the rack. Essentially we're just going to put it into place. And this bad boy attaches to this using two bolts over here on the side. As you guys can recall, on the actual balance bracket, there is these little nuts already attached to the bracket. So all we need here is to use the bolts and washers from the outside in. And again, this is a premium rack, so I pulled the knob off right here so we can actually slide in through this provision right here. And once we're there, we're gonna put everything into place and just drive those two bolts in, do it on both sides, and we should be good to go. So let's do that real quick and take our bolts, drive them through. And again, as always, we're just gonna do everything finger tight for now. Once we have everything into place, we'll go through and start tightening everything down. And then we'll take our little knob, throw it back. There we go. So go through and repeat the same process on the other side. Remember, just finger tight. Alrighty, so at this point, I've got the rack flipped over. We also went through and tightened down all the crossbars, the front wind diffuser, the rear wellens. Next up, what we need to do is attach these brackets. Essentially, these are the mounts that will attach the rack to the mid of the Forerunner. As you guys know, we put the T-nuts in earlier, and now we're gonna do these brackets. These brackets are pretty much a mirror image. They're very simple, essentially, these pieces right here, so essentially the C um, points towards the outside like so. And essentially, we're gonna put these in. We're just gonna finger tighten these so that way they can still move. And then once we attach the rack to the Forerunner, we'll go through and tighten these down. So let's do that real quick. And there we have it. Now we'll go through and repeat the same process on the other side. And next up, we're gonna move on to doing the brackets for the lights. As you guys know, in the first crossbar, we put those T-nuts. So next we'll go through and attach these brackets so that way we can run a light bar up front. So let's do that real quick. All right, so next up, we're going to install these light brackets. Again, these pieces right here will go towards the outside like so. And essentially we have a T-nut in this slot and the front. So let's just throw those in. Again, we're gonna leave these just finger tight. And then once we have the light bar on here, we'll go through and tighten everything down. Yep. All right, so now that we have the brackets in place, next up, we're gonna go ahead and install this dual row LED light bar. Essentially the light bar will come with hardware. You don't need that. Um, in your roof rack kit, um, it should have came with these two silver bolts. Um, we're just gonna use these guys, and then you've got some washers and also some crush washers as well. So we're gonna do that real quick and throw this bar on. And for us, I'm going to run this um, cable on the driver's side. So that's essentially over here. Um, you can go either way, as you guys can see. So it'll just make it you know, less wiring for us hooking this all up. All right, so now I've got this light bar in place. I've got the bracket. I'm gonna take this big cable. I'm just gonna drive it through the bracket here. I think that's gonna make it look nice and clean. And then we're gonna take the hardware. So essentially you've got a silver bolt, your little crush washer, and then your big washer. Run it through the bracket and into the light. And I'm just gonna tighten this bolt down for now. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this light bar pretty flush and then later on once we take it out, we can adjust it. Essentially to adjust this light bar, all you have to do is loosen these bolts and then the light bar will go up and down. So first we're gonna tighten this down and then we're gonna center the bracket um, to make sure that the light bar is centered. So let's do that real quick. And then one thing to keep in mind, um, to give you a little more room, I would just slide the light bar all the way to one side so you can tighten this guy down and then just tightly just move it back to do the other side. 
All right, so now we've got the light bar tightened down. I went through and measured these guys out, so it's pretty centered as far as the light bar. So next up, we'll go through and tighten these bolts down, and then we'll be good with this. And then after this, we'll be ready to throw the light bar onto the truck. All right, so now we have the rack completely assembled. We got the light on the bar. Next up, it's time to throw it up onto the forerunner. So one nice thing about this rack is that it actually utilizes the OEM mounting holes. Um, so we just need to pull off the OEM roof rack and we're just essentially gonna reuse this um, hardware as well. It should take about another, you know, I would say 10, 15 minutes. One thing about this, so the, the forerunners already have a roof rack on it. So theoretically, you don't really have to use silicone um, as it already has like, washers and gaskets in there, but we're gonna throw some silicone on the bolts just in case. W with that being said, let's pull off the OEM roof rack and I'll use my buddy to help me throw the other roof rack on and we'll just tighten everything down. So let's get it done. All right, so what we need to do on the OEM roof rack, we need to pop off these caps. So two in the front, two in the rear. Very simple to do. Make sure you have a panel removal tool and we're gonna slide it in between this rubber piece and the plastic piece. We're just gonna pry it up and then it should pop off. It essentially just has some clips. Just use a rag just in case you miss so you don't mess up your roof. There you go. And then once you have the cap off, all you need to do is remove these two bolts. So you're gonna have two, two on each side in the front and two on the rear. So I'm gonna pull those off real quick and then the roof rack will just come right off. So next up, once we remove this, we're gonna go through, clean everything up. We're gonna put the Cali raised slash pro build rack into place, make sure it's all looking good. Then we'll go through, throw some silicone down, reuse the OEM hardware. And then at that point, we'll just go through and tighten down all the little T-nuts and we'll be good to go. I've got all the bolts out. Next up, we're gonna just pull this rack up and go forward with it. So now that we have the OEM roof rack off, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these little silver spacers on. Um, what we're going to do with these spacers, we're gonna throw some silicone on the bottom end and throw them down into essentially where these bolt holes are. And then I'm gonna throw up a shot right now of the actual OEM hardware. As you guys can see, these um, rubber like washers or gaskets, they're gonna be pre um, weatherproof. So we'll just use those on top of this. So. Real quick, we'll th throw some silicone on these guys and then we'll throw them in the truck and then we'll throw the rack on and then from there on, we'll just tighten everything down, adjust it and we'll be good to go. And there we have it for the install. It took about three hours to do this install from start to finish. One of the nice things about the Forerunners is that most of them will come with their roof racks. So you're essentially just reusing the same hardware that came with the truck. Also, one thing to keep in mind with the LED light bar, essentially my body just wired up directly to his little eight switch panel, just like I have my Tacoma. So that made it super simple for him. As far as the technical specs on this rack, I'm not sure what the actual weight capacity is. If you guys do know, just drop it in the comment below. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see ya.